It is 4.01 and we're going to get started. Um, Mo has the board um, confirmed that the Kansas Open Meeting Act requirement has been properly provided. Yes. Okay. Number two, uh, roll call, Fiona. Mm -hmm. Diana Fairbanks. Lisa Henderson, that's me. Deborah Corrales is not here. Kyle Fenton, not here. Matthew Newbanks. Yep. Alyssa Mickelson, our youth member, not here. Number three, our citizens forum. Do we have any citizens that would like to speak about a topic not on the agenda? I see that no one is present. Number four, introduction of board members. My name is Lisa Henderson. I'm Diana Fairbanks. Fiona Beal. Matthew Newbanks. Okay. Community veterinarians comments. I don't see that we have anyone else here, including a community veterinarian. Approval of the agenda. Can we take a vote on approving the agenda? I'll move to approve it. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Any Aye. opposed? Approval of the minutes. Can we have a motion to approve the minutes? I'll make the motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any, any opposed? Number eight is new business. And you said that Jeff is to do the first yeah, topic? Okay, so let's skip over the Barkley Park turf healing cycle and go to trap and release opportunities. Okay, um, we've had a little bit more opportunity to do some trap and release in town. Um, we usually trap on Wednesday evenings um, at wherever we're gonna go trap and then pick up Thursday morning and then spay neuter and then put them back out where they came from on Thursday afternoon after they've recovered. Um, so we've got a list, um, it's in, the, we've got it as a, um, a graph and we've got the areas, everybody, their names, phone numbers, th their addresses and then we're marking on there where we've gone and we kind of go down the line um, and then when we're down to the bottom of the line, we'll go back up again and start all over again in the, those other areas that we had been in. If we get somebody new on there, we just add that one on and we go to that one. Mm -hmm. So we didn't get a chance to do any last week because um, we were absolutely stuffed on our animals and also the, the publics that were already scheduled. So, and then this week it's the same thing. We've got so many cats that are our own cats and we have a few, a few dogs, but it's mostly all cats, mm -hmm. um, to get those guys done and get them out. And um, I wanna get the dogs done, definitely, cause we can't adopt anything out until they're done. So, and they're just sitting there right now waiting. So, and we're full. So we're gonna get everybody spayed, neutered and out there and get them hopefully adopted th Friday, Saturday, hopefully. We've got discount prices going on right now because we're so full trying to get we did what 10 dog adoptions on just last saturday, uh, saturday. Yeah. yeah but then we filled right back up yeah everything went out the door and then and we had a bunch of strays that were never claimed so that's what's going to be on uh the schedule the surgery schedule for then monday i did see that you guys looked really full of both dogs mm -hmm. just just what we can see just what the public can see it looks like you've got a really yeah full load of both dogs we do. and cats right now we're pretty full do you have a lot of uh are, a lot of cats and fosters kittens and fosters or we do i think well bruce is full mm -hmm. with he has what 22 22, did you say? 22. 10, 10 bottle babies and he said no more right now because he's got bottle babies i know sue is really full yeah um there's a couple of other new ones um marcy is doing some marcy okay. brown has a few and then there's another couple um fosters that have a few here and there but okay. the majority of the bottle babies are with people who are experienced with it and hopefully we can get some other fosters experience so they can have some relief. Those two fosters can get some relief through the summer. Um, is there any chance, now I know that your surgery day is just down to Thursdays, um, and I'm certain that you've got 
a lot of people that are wanting trap and release. Is there any chance that Doc would do like a special day? I had meant to ask her that, but like she has a full-time job. Right. Besides coming to us on oh. Thursdays, and that's why we went, we scooched it down to one day. Mm -hmm. So um, I had, we had spoke about it at a little bit the last time we got together, but we really didn't get anything like mm -hmm. set in stone. So I mean, I don't think she's opposed to it. Sure. So that would be something that we would be really nice to be able to do. So if there is a chance of her giving you an extra day, you could always, you know, get as much of your trap and release that you could possibly gather. You could throw a couple publics in there if you needed to, and certainly whatever if you guys had something. If we had if you own. had stuff yeah. sitting, so if you had an option, if you had an opportunity to do I it. I just want to make sure, it's, and I'm sure it would be a full day if we got everything. Oh, if or, we hit yeah. all the good spots, so we could probably get her a full day. But you guys don't even have the room for. I mean, if somebody, if you trapped and released and got. 12 additional cats for the trap and release you don't have the room to storm right now do you no we would we would have to pick we would have to set the traps out on wednesday night or whatever night before mm -hmm. go pick them up the next morning and then just get what we get and then go from you know yeah. there because then they would all be spayed neutered put back in their little trap and then they would then go back to the area where they were from mm -hmm. so they would go back into that circle but spayed and neutered in a tipped ear are you still hitting, are you hitting like the, what? what's just out of curiosity, are you like over on Beverly, the same area on Beverly? We got a bunch of kitties from there just the other day. Yeah. Somebody was evicted, so we got five. I believe so, yeah. Five, five. from there. I so they're sitting waiting for to the 72 hour hold to go, um, and then they'll be ours, but it's, it was one trailer in particular, mm -hmm. so. I'm sure that, and they were, I think they were inside kitties because they're, yeah, they're, you know, big, <laughs> they healthy. yeah, big healthy kitties. But um, there are, we have set in that area. The other area is um, Duval yeah, we, and behind the Power Sports mm -hmm. place mm -hmm. and um, I can try, uh, Cedar Creek, we hit really hard mm -hmm. last, last time, mm -hmm. last, at the beginning of the, uh, Year. And I have not, not had many calls yeah, about Cedar Yeah, I think Creek we, we got a lot of them good, good. under control. Well, it's, that's a, certainly a never-ending cycle. It just, you just kind of have to continue to plug away at it. Yeah. So we have the one vet that comes every week, right? Mm -hmm. Is it something where you can reach out to, like, K-State and see if they have someone who wants to come and 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 have a chance to do more surgeries we and that can. kind of thing? We can, but I mean, it's a little different than just a regular spay neuter. It's a high volume spay neuter, so you have to be able to know how to do it quickly. And sometimes, unless the student is like ready to go, they still have to have somebody there to kind of help oh. or be present if they just in case. So that's okay. you know we have we've I I had one of a vet that I used to work for. She works for K State now, and she had reached out to me asking me if we we're still looking for a full-time vet and I said I'd love to be able to have a full-time vet but it's not in the budget right now yeah um, so and I did say hey we do need some high volume um, vets or you know those people if you know of anybody send them our way or g send me their numbers so we're working on that right now okay. so it would be nice to be able to have somebody else in there but mm -hmm. that it, it I don't know that we would have enough unless we reached out and opened up the public the civic rec public thing and that would help but i don't know that i would have enough we can't guarantee that ever you know that people are going to mm -hmm. schedule an appointment because i'm i'm right. still getting people are saying that our prices are too high so it's kind of mm. and i mean we have supplies to pay for and i mean we've not gone up so it's just i mean all of our stuff all of our equipment all of our meds everything has gone up exponentially and we're not reflecting that in our prices because we're trying to keep it affordable mm -hmm. so we're trying to be very careful hmm. I would say to that person go find it cheaper I was gonna say no, you're not I going don't know to. that you that could just, find you just it cheaper. can't you just I know we have three. a lot of people asking for assistance through the friends four, yeah. um, we've had I think I had four or five yesterday that dropped off 
applications and there were several several today that were asking for assistance so mm. and it is you know i mean if they need the help the friends are there to they have some extra dollars that they're helping with so that's good because that keeps us busy too mm -hmm. that keeps us that keeps the doctor busy too so yeah the friends are still supplying mm -hmm. uh surgeries for mm -hmm. you that's great yeah i think i have four four just friends alone that's good on thursday that's great Good to, good to know. Anything else on the trap and release opportunities? Um, we're or just going to keep trying. Any other comments on that? Uh, last meeting we talked about possibly you had a plan in place from a couple of years ago about the outside of city limits or outside of county limits for pit bulls. Uh, has that for adopting I, out? Okay, so I, I, put my, I gave my packet to Jeff. And as far as I know, Jeff has given it to the city manager, but I haven't heard anything back. Gotcha. So, and it, it's, it's been very recent that I believe that he that that was given. And, and I'm assuming the was it 14 pit bulls? You still got probably close to that number the now. 13 now, I think. Because I know Precious is still there. Mm -hmm. She's been there for a while. 10 to 16 is seven. So about 10 right now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, so no, you still get a high yeah, occupancy. Yeah, and then we've got one in, in court hold yeah. that is going to be released. Um, it's going it's, to, we're good. doing a release agreement on that one. It's going to Wichita. Um, so that one's going, we're just waiting. We have to neuter it before it can go to Wichita because Wichita requires them to be neutered there. So we're going to get him on next week's schedule because we don't have room on this week's schedule. Um, but yeah, we're trying. It's I, everywhere I reach out. I mean, I've got my gal in Colorado, and she's they're dealing with a new director right now. So they just started having talks and meetings and stuff about being able to transfer, and they're doing their Bissell clear the shelter right now at this time. So they're trying to get as much out as possible. So. I reached out at the end of April. She told me to reach out at the beginning of May, which I did. Then she said, reach out at the end of May. So it, it's kind of a wait and see. And I know where they're coming from because we're just so full, too. Oh, yeah. I think yeah. everybody Every, is. All of the shelters are full. I had a lady show up from Great Bend today, wanted to release her dog to us, and I said, I'm sorry. I, number one, I can't take you because you're not from the city of Salina or Saline County. And number two, I couldn't if I wanted to. I'm just too full. And she said, that's why I drove down here because they're so full they can't take either. So and er, all the shelters that I know of right now are, are, are in the same boat that we are. Is there anything you need from us to maybe make the city manager look at this a little bit harder? Because I, I, I think that would at least help get some pit bulls mm -hmm. out of the shelter and give you guys a little bit more space. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, we don't have to change the city ordinance or anything. Right. Get, them out, get them out of right. your guys' hands. I was waiting for a reaction. To, you know, I, I was waiting to see if you know, it was going to be if he'd seen it yet or if he uh, so I had an uh, uh, inclination that maybe to just call up there at the end of the week and just touch base it, just to see just gotta think I would hope it would alleviate a little bit of stress off of you guys mm -hmm. if it would because there's 10 kennels right there that mm -hmm. that's a lot you know, we could open. percentage wise that's 30% that's of your dogs probably right. that's a lot mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I mean, that's 30% because it's three. from kennel it's seven two of them close they're down so to 16 be 33% yeah, thirty-three percent of your kennels are, are of, of your, essentially yes. always yes. full. Yes. yes, right. So, so and this is the, I think this is the most we've ever had, because usually we have we we'd had like four or five at the most, but now it's it's gotten and their lead and their way their more. wait times are extending out too because nobody else can take them because right. everybody's full. And these are really nice dogs. These are <coughs> dogs that are very very adoptable. You know, just super sweet little, you know, I mean, they're just, they just want to be loved and have a home. And the majority of those dogs that we have, no, they were, came in as strays and nobody reclaimed. So they're not even like, they were like court hold and they were then made our property. These are dogs that came in as strays and nobody reclaimed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. So hopefully we can get some movement on that. I mean, if you, if you need anything from us to get them to do, I don't, I don't know what powers we have there. But. Okay. Well, we'll. I was hoping to hear maybe something here soon, and that we'll keep you abreast on it. Sounds good. That would be great. Okay, um, anything else on that subject? Anyone okay. have any comments? Okay, uh, next order is updates on the donor wall. Um, I was hoping to have like a really great update for you because I had a presentation with the city manager on Monday 
um, but we kind of got a little um, more bogged down on the donation spreadsheet. Um, so we really didn't get an opportunity to talk about the, the donation wall, the ideas um, that I had. I had paint swatches and a mock-up sign and everything like that. So I think, you know, we'll, as I get, if we get that schedule re, that meeting rescheduled, then I'll, I'll have more for you in August when we have our meeting in August. Okay. Any comments on the donor wall? Number nine is old business. Um, still need for fostering for animals at the shelter, I assume? Yes. Ongoing? Definitely. I mean, we have new, we do have some new fosters that they've added on, which is great. Um, but we could use more, especially for cats. We could really use more cat fosters. That always seems to be. Yeah, a, uh, and a do maybe another one or two dog fosters. We don't have very many people that foster dogs, and sometimes we need, like we had one that came in today, a 14-year-old poodle, mm -hmm. and Sue was already full, so we were kind of like, oh, what are we going to do? You know, we I guess we could put him in a kennel, but, mm -hmm. you know, they're 14 years old, and it's and really hard on them. Nice so, but for them to we did care. have one of the um, volunteers stepped up and said she'd try it and see and she fell in love with him when she came in so that's great hopefully he w hopefully he won't have to be there long and then he'll get he'll get his teeth cleaned because his teeth needed cleaned and then after he gets his teeth cleaned he'll get neutered because he's 14 and not neutered yet so we need to do that um, and then at that point then he'll go up for adoption but he's still got plenty of life and and energy he's just bouncing around mm -hmm. following everybody wanting to be on everybody's laps and just super sweet so i think he'll find a home pretty quick mm -hmm. mm. That's great. Um, need for volunteers for Friends of the Shelter Group. Definitely. Um, we're short-staffed again, so um, it would be really nice to be able to have – we depend on the volunteers a lot to walk dogs because we're down another person, so – and there's and we have uh, one a person who walked quite a bit who now can't walk anymore so we're kind of down more than what we would have been even if we were fully staffed so if we could find some volunteers that want to come in and, and walk the dogs in the morning or the afternoon or even volunteer for events because we have a lot of events coming up mm -hmm. um, and it's nice to have those extra bodies out there for that officer who's at that event and those are kind of fun you know you get they mm -hmm. feed you and you know give you snacks and all kinds of stuff like that so and it's and and it's fun to kind of walk around with the dogs that we have a, uh, a vaccination clinic going on at Atwoods on the 20th of uh, May um, through Blue Stem Veterinary Clinic, and uh, we're going to join them at Atwoods. Um, oh, how nice. They're going to do uh, low price vaccines, and we're going to have our dogs out there, and it'll be a nice long day. And hopefully get some dogs adopted, and we'll definitely get some dogs vaccinated. So That's great. That's May 20th, correct? May 20th, May 20th. yes, from 8 until noon. And it's on our website if you want to know the prices of the vaccines. They'll have like little packages and things that you can purchase um, okay. of vaccine bundles and stuff. And it's it's a really good price. And when you say it's on the website, do you mean it's on the it's, website or do you mean it's on the it's Facebook? It's on Facebook. I'm okay. sorry. Yes, it's okay. all on it. I put I put the flyer and everything up on Facebook, the little advertisement. Um, and I've been kind of putting it on there every Monday so we could get maybe as much exposure as we can door. it's on our front doors it's whenever okay. people call we tell them about it um, Mark um has printed up a number of the flyers as well to hand out people who have asked about assistance with vaccinations too yeah. and hand those out yeah so because people who are needing help and can't afford it that's uh, it's really affordable so okay very good that's great is the uh you know, i know you guys depend on volunteers quite a bit for the walking the dogs and mm -hmm. stuff like that is, is the city interested in all and possibly get you another part-time employee to so you get I'm not that saying would be, the volunteers aren't reliable sure it would be nice if, yeah if, and i think for 2024 we have that opportunity um budget wise we have the opportunity in 2024 but 2023 was already you know it's already past that point but it would be nice to be able to have that extra body um when we when we were fully staffed it wasn't quite so hard because it and usually there's somebody there every day except for wednesdays 
and sometimes on Fridays it just kind of depends on what's going on but usually there's somebody every day except for Wednesdays there's a couple times when somebody was on vacation where where there wasn't anybody there Tuesday or Wednesday or maybe sometimes Thursday but we work it out we make sure that everybody gets out Bridget and Marcus were working hot and heavy on it today and getting everybody out everybody got out for a longer extended period of time they took their time with it and the the court hold dogs get out quite a bit um, to be able to you know lay out in the sun a little bit so because it's nice so we don't want them to be stuck in the mm -hmm. in the, their kennels all day i just know you guys are short staffed quite a bit and you're getting ready i mean before too much longer you're gonna be short staffed by another officer right mm -hmm. be gone for a while so. right and that's where i've anticipated that in the schedule um i've already i've already anticipated in the schedule because i'm just we're just where we're waiting we're you know excitedly waiting yeah. you know it's an exciting time so um but hopefully we'll be able to get uh somebody hired pretty quickly and get somebody on board they won't be fully running and you know up to speed by the time that um that one employee leaves but at least we'll have that body and we'll be able to train that person and have that extra body in the the shelter mm -hmm. it seems like there would be it, it it just feels like to me just through all of the conversation that a, a part-time floating employee there um, in addition to do you still have the one other, other part-time employee mm -hmm. yes in addition to an, another one that could do walk you know outside of ACO duties do your walking do some cleaning uh, mm -hmm. whatever else they do yeah you know that it's laundry. Yeah. laundry yeah you know just those are things just the, you know the laundry the, the 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 volunteers help us out so much with laundry and we all know how bad laundry can get but if you're washing 32 blankets in a morning you know it takes all day plus all the cat laundry mm -hmm. it takes all day to do the laundry so if everybody pitches in yeah it's it it we can get it done but if if it's super busy and we don't have time it stacks up and thank god sometimes the volunteers are, are there to be they pick it up and they help us there's a certain couple of volunteers that that's all they do they just go in there and fold laundry for us which they don't i don't think they understand how much that helps because i mean it, it just takes that off of our plate so to have those people to help us but we can't i mean we can depend on them but we shouldn't depend on them we should be able to have staff enough to be able to do that and when we're fully staffed it's it's better um than when we're not obviously but yeah, it's just it stretches you guys so thin to to have to concentrate on the surgery and the aco duties and then the, your adoptions and everything oh and then okay now we're short staffed again and now we've got the cleaning and the we walking have, and the, I think the crew else. that we have right now we have a, a great crew everybody's like hardworking and conscientious mm -hmm. and they they everybody helps each other it's a very good team um, and it's I think this is you know one of the, the best teams that we've had and it you can say hey wow I'm kind of overwhelmed and somebody's gonna step mm -hmm. up to help you hey can I what can I do to help you and it's nice to be able to have that That's with good. each other and it's nice that they have that camaraderie camaraderie with each other because um, it, it helps the day go by a little faster when you're short and you're having to pull extra duties on other things it makes it a little easier when you've got somebody who understands you know that oh huh, okay let's go do this okay let's finish that and we'll go do this and so we're it, we're working hard on it um trying to get some other things done that we're gonna have to put on hold for a little while um as far as like painting um because i've been wanting to do that for a million years for a while so we're putting those things on hold and it's fine i mean the walls are still going to be there the stands, in six months yeah. so it's fine they don't have to be pretty right now they can just look that way for a little while longer <laughs> what's the employee requirement um it, it depends on what you want to do i mean if you want to be an animal control officer you know you have to be able to get out there and run and and be physically active enough to be able to catch dogs and cats you have to be able to lift i think i want to say it's 50 pounds oh. might be um, about 50 pounds and then you know be able to have some experience in cats and dogs and those kinds of things i don't have like a a front desk person per se like somebody who's just up front um because really everybody does everything they're all included the, the animal control officer doesn't mean that that's all they're doing they're doing adoptions they're doing um you know cleaning things they're out there in the truck they're in the office you know doing uh hills diet 
science diet um, you know counts for the food and things like that so they do everything they're not just doing animal control duties they're doing everything so everybody's cross trained for for everything so we all can do it so if if somebody's gone that day everybody knows how to do each position mm -hmm. so it makes it nice because then they're all cross trained mm -hmm. but sometimes it would be nice to have just that one body up there at front because that would help a lot to have that one body that could sit up there and answer the phone and do those licenses and adoptions and let the other people kind of float around and, and do other things in the shelter to get things done because sometimes you have to pick you know okay you you're i'm going to stay here and he's going to stay here and we're going to watch the front desk and so and so is going to go off and they're going to go do this and or they're going to go to sam's and get this and we're going to stay here and watch this and then somebody's in the truck too so i mean it, it's kind of it's tricky sometimes but we get it we get things done mm -hmm. Wear a lot of hats there, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Any other comments on that? I don't think Jeff's showing up. Mm -mm. I don't think Jeff's showing up. Um, last order on old business is clarification of board attendance policy. And that was, I believe he was gonna speak on that because um, I wasn't, mm -hmm. I, I, we talked about it the last time and I, th I think we were going to try and decide if I was going to be the one who was going to, you know, try and contact. And that's what I did this time. I thought, well, I'm going to just reach out and call just to see if we can make, sh you know, have if, if somebody's not showing up, call. What I'm running into is either that number's been changed, the email's still the same, but the phone number went to voicemail, but it didn't say who it was. It just said this number. So I left a message um, hoping that, you know, maybe they would get it and, I mean, it's, it's, that's all I can do to reach out through email and the phone. And that's kind of, that's the extent of what I can do. Mm -hmm. Well, we can also table that um, along with the uh, Barkley Park. And I'll, I'll go ahead and to, see if. To next time, to s if, um, if he would like to speak on those, su those subjects then. You're gonna reach out and see if maybe he just forgot. Okay. So, but if you have guys have anything else you need to talk we have about, uh, general announcements. If anybody does, anybody else have anything that they want to bring to the table? No. Okay. Well, I guess we will motion to um, end our meeting then. I'll move that. Okay. All, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, I think that wraps it up.